All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a news story in which a Bungie dev on the Sandbox team addresses Stasis is going to be nerfed again very soon. Yes, you heard me right. Another nerf to Stasis. I think this is like the third or fourth one at this time. So clearly this shit was overtuned ridiculously for the launch of Beyond Light. And now Bungie is in an ever ongoing process of turning back the gears on how ridiculously powerful Stasis is inside Destiny 2. Clearly the community backlash has gotten to them. And a lot of people have said that they just don't play Destiny 2 anymore because of Stasis. Let me know in the comment section below if Stasis has hindered your desire to play Destiny 2. Are you playing Destiny 2 less because of Stasis or have you quit altogether? Because if you have, you might really like these changes when they come out because it seems like Stasis is going to be actually appropriately balanced according to the Lightbait subclasses after this nerf. Now, this entire conversation started when Bungie community manager DMG tweeted out this saying, team is aware of this in regards to Chaos Reach being OP. Looks like they have a fix slated for the next patch to address instances where the super could penetrate walls or objects. Team is also aware of continued feedback on Geomag stabilizers. We'll provide more info when available. So some great feedback here in regards to Chaos Reach. Obviously it goes through walls. I've covered this many times before. Plus a ton of people, they swap to Geomags. They get their super back repeatedly. They can cancel their super and get a bunch of super energy. The play style that goes along with using Chaos Reach and pairing that with Geomags is very troublesome. You get people running 100 intellect, running away from gunfights, just trying to get their supers. It's a giant mess and I'm really happy that's getting addressed. Let me know in the comments if you agree. If you think Chaos Reach should get nerfed, at the very least, just make it so that the super doesn't go through walls and maybe Geomags should give a different ability to Chaos Reach other than giving you your super back really fast when you're at like 75%. I know it also makes the super last longer. Maybe they should focus more on that part of the exotic rather than getting your super back by sprinting with it. Now, in response to that, another Bungie dev actually retweeted that saying this. Now, this is someone who's in charge of the Sandbox. We have Sandbox is working on a slew of tuning updates over the next few seasons. We're aware of key points of feedback in PvE and PvP. Some key places we're actively looking at stasis freeze, slow accuracy penalties, and whisper of hedrons. We will share more with you soon. So that is amazing to see. I love to see that Bungie is actually addressing the problems with stasis. Being frozen is my least favorite thing in PvP. Having a slow accuracy penalty is terrible. I don't know if you know this, but if you get slowed at any point in time while you're slowed, you also have an accuracy penalty to your weapon. So it's almost impossible to hit anyone with your primary weapon or any ranged weapon for that matter. I mean, pretty much when you're slowed, the only thing you can do is shotgun someone. That's the only thing that seems to be effective. And along with that, Whisper of Hedrons has now become extremely potent and strong. If you pair it with the Cold Snap Grenade, you can easily get tags with it. And then you get Damage Boost, in which with a 120 RPM hand cannon, you can start two tapping people for a 10 second duration. Now this is super, super strong. Whisper of Hedrons paired with Cold Snap has become the hard meta inside PvP for Trials and for every playlist for that matter. It is nice to see some big nerfs coming to Stasis, especially in regards to PvP because it's so unbelievably unfun to play against in my opinion. But the only problem with this news, and let me know if you agree with this, is that it always feels like with Bungie, it's two steps forward and one step back. And one thing that a lot of people have been criticizing them for is that there's now going to be a sidearm that freezes people. So people are gonna be running around with a sidearm. If you didn't see this in the trailer, the sidearm will be able to freeze people inside PVP. And while initially this might be fun to play around with, over the long course of time, this will get very old and very annoying. The last thing we need in the Crucible right now and in PVP right now is more things that freeze people. We need to get away from freezing people. Something that I've actually posed as an idea for a stasis complete overhaul is this. What if stasis didn't slow people at all? But instead, when you threw, a, let's say for a shuriken, for example, if you were to throw a hunter shuriken and it hits someone right now, it does damage to them and it slows them. It gives them that accuracy penalty. And by slowing them, they're basically immobilized and they're just a sitting duck to get destroyed. What if instead it hit them, it did damage, but it didn't slow them at all. Instead, it empowered you, the thrower, because you threw the shuriken and you hit them with it. And you got a buff that actually sped you up, like gave you like killing wind, for example maybe giving you a buff to mobility or movement, allowing you to speed up the game versus where stasis is right now, where it slows people and freezes people, essentially slowing the game down. And don't get me wrong, I think that there is a place for freezing and slowing people. I just think that it shouldn't be with just simple abilities. I think that freezing people or even slowing people should be exclusive to supers in the game. The ability to slow people and the ability to freeze people is just simply too strong. You would never give someone the ability to fire one golden gun shot instead of throwing a grenade, for example. 
but that's what it feels like with stasis at times especially if you remember those glacier grenades shatter dive combination that shit was insane remember that and even still after that has now been nerfed stasis is still like a slam dunk if you freeze someone they're dead and at this point in time it's almost uncounterable and that's what makes it unfun to play against especially in pvp but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you agree do you think that freezing people and slowing people should be exclusive to stasis supers and not stasis abilities do you think that bungie is making the right moves in pushing towards nerfing stasis more or do you think that with this upcoming stasis freezing sidearm the crucible is doomed i'll be reading all of your comments down below and make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you want to stay up to date on all things destiny 2 smash the like button and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching later new outro oh yeah already subscribed already smashed a like button good next up suck my butt oh what 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 suck my butt who wrote this no that's not that's not that's not it next up follow me on tiktok at lucky 10p that's a wrap see you in the next one